is going on, Blockchain Monkeys? Eagle here, and I'd like to thank you for coming to my jungle. Now, first of all, I am no financial advisor whatsoever, nor am I a professional in blockchain technology. But there is one thing that I absolutely will do, and that's give you my opinion. So today, we're going to talk about Brooksy. Now, um, can I get your permission to change his name from Brian Brooks to XRP Brooksy? He's got to be XRP Brooksy now. I mean, it's just what it is. Because if I remember about six months ago, maybe more, him echoing the same words as Mr. Brad Garlinghouse, okay? So it's XRP Brooksy from now on. But before we get into that, I got to talk about this interview with Julie, Julie, chat, chat. And I knew she was going to bring the heat. Yes, she did. But before we get into this interview, I have some. I actually have some juicy information I'd like to talk to you regarding Julia Chatterley. I'm kidding. I actually don't have anything juicy to talk to you about. But anyways, let's get in. This year has been interesting. The rise of digital payments anyway due to COVID. Some big investors throwing the towel in and saying, fine, I was a skeptic. I've changed my mind. Square, PayPal getting involved. What's driving the gains this year in your mind? Well, first of all, Julia, thank you for having me back. Uh, it has definitely been an exciting year across crypto. Look how calm, cool, and chill uh, Brad is. He's just exuding so much confidence. He almost has a look of like relief on his face. Macro important dynamics that is driving the crypto markets is the fact that many governments around the world are printing more fiat currencies. Here in the United States, you see you know trillions of dollars of stimulus, and that means that we're inflating the U.S. dollar. Do you see this as the end of perhaps Bitcoin dominance? It is talked about most. It has the largest market share. And particularly when I go back to the chart that I just showed of the rise in, in value over the last 12 months. There is a relative outperformance of, of some of the other digital assets here versus Bitcoin. Is this the moment where we see the beginning of the end of the dominance of Bitcoin? Well, I think Bitcoin is going to remain a very important kind of a player within the, the crypto community. It has been and I think will continue to be for so many people. And even as you, as you mentioned, Square and others that when they first get involved with crypto, they start with Bitcoin. And then from there, they expand their, their portfolio. I, I think it's important to have that entry point to get getting people comfortable. So I don't think it'll change dramatically. I think. Bitcoin has been, I think, will continue to be solving a use case, that utility question around store of value. But as you pointed out, I think they're going to see uh, micro cases or even very large cases. In the, in the case of XRP as a payments tool, particularly the way Ripple uses it for cross-border payments, you're talking about you know, trillions and trillions of dollars that are flowing across border in a, in a system that was really designed and built 50 years ago. I'm sure you personally have had the experience of moving money across borders, and it's slow and it's expensive. And we can and will enable much uh, more efficient and much cheaper solutions. Do you need that clarity before you IPO, Brad? Ooh, get him. Get him, Julie. Well, that's a great question. You know, uh, we have not you know, been public about what our plans are to go public uh, with the exception that I've said, I think there will be public crypto companies. I originally predicted we'd see them in calendar year 2020. I think you we and did. I may have discussed that. Stop it, but we did. Uh, I, I think, you know, the pandemic has affected a lot of things. I think that has slowed things down a bit. But look, it's very clear there is enthusiasm for real use cases to solve real problems. And when those are scaled problems, I think you're going to see a lot of investor interest in both the crypto markets as well as the public equity markets. Now, here's where Julie's about to take a bite out of crime. I heard a rumor as well that Western Union, obviously big competitor, has realized um, how steep the competition here and has signed up as a customer. Any truth to that rumor? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we are very cautious about, you know, we, we talk about our customers. Why don't you just say no, Brad? Just say no if it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> customers Ripple is working with. Some of them are true, some of them are not true, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna dodge that question. Oh, I, think I can see you doing that. Boom. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to come back here and <laughs> and watch a little bit more. Check, check check out their faces. They're ready to talk about it. Uh, there's lots of rumors out there about you know various customers Ripple has been working with. Some of them are true, some of them are not true, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna dodge that question. That oh, I, think I can see you doing that, but that's not a no. <laughs> I know. <noticed. laughs> so we're getting close, folks. Things are revving up. Here we go. We got XRP Brooksy laying it down. I wanted to follow up 
on, on the point you made in terms of you think good things are coming by the end of the Trump term for cryptocurrency. Are you in the camp who believes that more regulation in cryptocurrency will be a good thing overall for the industry? Yeah, look, I, I wouldn't say more regulation. This is not like your breakfast cereal box where it talks about weight, not volume. I don't think we need 50 regulations instead of two. But what we do need is clarity about what's allowed. And so we need some guidance, for example, about whether banks can connect directly to blockchains as payment networks. The answer has to be yes, right? We need the answers about can banks custody cryptocurrency so that institutions felt comfortable adopting. And you saw what happened when we gave that clarity. So you have clarity across a variety of areas that I think you'll be seeing just in the next six to eight weeks, which will make it easier for crypto investors to know how to invest, to know how institutions can be in this asset class. I just think it's so amazing how the industry has changed their tune. It's crazy. And those are the things that are driving prices at this point. You know, it may have been a bubble two years ago, but with more clarity, institutions that see this as a real thing are going to adopt at scale, which they've already started to do. So stay tuned. Former boss at Coinbase's CEO, Brian Armstrong, um, sent out last week, and he said that the Treasury could be, quote, planning to rush out some new regulation regarding self-hosted crypto wallets before the end of the term. Is that true? Yeah, look, um, and Melissa, you know, rumors abound in Bitcoin more than almost any other place. What I would tell you is we're very focused on getting this right. We're very focused on not killing this. And it's equally important that we develop the networks behind Bitcoin and other cryptos as it is that we prevent money laundering and terrorism financing. So believe me, there's a balance here and it's going to work for everybody. So that's a neither a yes or no answer to that. Should we be expecting some new regulations by, by the end of the Trump term? I think you're going to see a lot of good news for crypto by the end of the Trump term. Some of it's going to have to do with banks connecting to blockchain. Some of it's going to be more clarity around the nature of these assets. So believe me, there's going to be very positive messages coming out. At the same time, it's a dangerous world out there. We have to be honest about that. But nobody's going to ban Bitcoin. Nobody's going to ban some of these transmission technology. Ladies and gentlemen, within six to eight weeks, we may have some clarity. Let's go. I think it's going to be a lot less bad than people will worry about. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will all see each other, hopefully very soon, on the moon.